Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSE 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. I just thought of something to add at the end of creating corridors. Um, it would be nice to incorporate the topo we just created with our new corridors into our existing ground topo to produce a final ground. Uh, so I thought I'd show that process just to make it clear. Now, a little work to start with. I'm going to turn off a couple layers. Uh, if you haven't yet, your old uh, C Topo 2 and 10 really is not needed for anything. It was just source data we made to use to make our existing ground surface. And the visibility it looks kind of ugly. We can turn off the uh, C Road corridor layer, and that'll make our corridor areas appear a little better. Um, what I'm looking at is just topo for the road and topo for the ditch. Um, now I've got my existing ground and now I want to merge the two or the three. So if I go into my prospector I can see my existing ground. I'm going to right click on it and select it, which should highlight escape, right click, select it. Well, it doesn't say that it selected it, but I'm going to assume it did. It selected my existing ground. I'm going to do a copy command. And it's, uh, okay, there it highlighted. Uh, now it's saying, what do you want to do with it? I'm going to use the displacement option and just leave it zero. What that did is copy my topo on top of itself without moving it at all. So now I have two copies of the existing topo. I've got existing and I've got existing one. I'm going to go to my surface properties and rename that to final grades. And uh, this is a combination of EG and the road and the ditch. Okay. Now, that really didn't change it. I just renamed it. Um, for kicks, though, I'm going to turn the rest off. The corridor for the ditch, I'm going to say surface display. Um, border only. Corridor for the road, surface display, border only. So that's made the topo disappear. I just see the boundary of those objects. Okay. And existing ground, surface display, I'm just going to say turn it off. What I'm staring at is a copy of EG, which is named Final Grade. That's the only one that's still on. In the Final Grade, if I expand the definition, there are edits. There's this cool edit called a paste, which will allow me to put the ditch, okay, pasted into the surface for the corridor. Now the topo of the ditch is superimposed inside of the copy of my existing ground. I can do that again, paste, and grab the road. Now my copy of EG has the topo changed to be the road topo. I'm just leaving the boundary on so you can see how the topo changed inside the boundary. Is that cool or what? Now you can do things like in the Analyze tab, there's a volume dashboard, and you can compare the EG to the FG to get cut and fill values. Uh, and there's a lot of other tools you can do. But what we're staring at is a 
is the computer now thinks the road and the ditch are part of EG, but it's named final. So what we're saying is that a site can be a composite of multiple components that you design and paste those surfaces together to make a composite site. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.